Welcome back to Cooking with Marilyn. Today we're going to learn how to cook squash. I know it sounds gross, but it's really tasty. So we're going to start with spaghetti squash. I have one right here. I buy seedless squash from the store. You can get those in Hollywood. See? Once you've done that, all you have to do Pour some olive oil on it. Spread it around. There you go. You can use the back of a spoon to kind of get it in there. Make sure it's all spread over. Can you see it? That ought to do it. And the rest of it will dribble down. Because we're going to flip it over in a second. And this is just regular old virgin olive oil. Although olive oil is with Popeye, so I don't know about that. Once you've got it all spread around, just lay it flat on some tin foil. Reset your oven to about 350 or so. Here we go. And while it preheats, I'm just going to Time to take out the spaghetti squash. Ooh. Ooh, it's heavy. Ooh. I guess I should wait till it's cooler before I scrape it off. I'm not really sure how to pick it up. just in case. I know, I'll scrape it toward the glove. <gasps> Did you see that? It's like magic! Oh, that's so fun! I feel like I'm combing its hair. If I could just hold it steady, but it's hot. So neat. Ah, I knew. Spaghetti squash is blonde too. I guess that's why it's called spaghetti squash, huh? Check it out. You can tell it's really hot. You're probably supposed to wait. But I don't like waiting. How cool is that? Somebody said they knew how to make lasagna like this with spaghetti squash. How do you make lasagna out of noodles? Well, I'll finish scraping it out and then I'll get back to you. Well, the spaghetti squash is all scraped out and one squash makes like a million servings. Don't believe me? Here's our one squash. You can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> you can put spaghetti sauce on it if you want to. Oh, maybe I'll show you my spaghetti sauce recipe next week. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Because, I mean, don't tell anyone, but this is actually the first time I've ever made it. <gasps> oh! Mm -hmm. Can you hear it crunching? 
like sauerkraut, but it tastes better. I mean, it tastes less. Anyway, enjoy your squash. You might have noticed that there was something else in my oven that day. Well, guess what? If you tune in on the next cooking segment, I'll show you just what it was, and how I made it, and all the trouble it was. I'm cooking nightmares with Marilyn, coming up soon. <laughs>